always tracking, always alerting. Storm Team 8. Starting to see things slow down a bit. We technically have a little bit of light snow that's going to be moving in tonight, but we're not expecting much. Cloud cover once again overtaking the skies. We did have a few breaks in the clouds earlier today. Many of you saw the sunshine at least for a little bit. And we also had some breaks in the cloud cover tonight, but it's starting to fill back in as this next wave moves in. Here's Storm Track Live. You can see it's picking up on some light activity. I also turned the sensitivity way up so that we could see this next wave that's moving in over Lake Michigan. It's attached to a system that it's anchored a little bit further to the south. And as it streams through tonight into tomorrow, it has the potential to deliver some accumulation. This particular forecast model is taking it on the light end, but I do think that we're going to see a little bit of lake enhancement. So I wouldn't be surprised if we ended up with closer to about one to two inches for some. Still nothing too awful. And what's better is that the wind is actually going to be slowing down for us. So even though the snow is going to be light and dry, just like what we've been experiencing the last couple of days, we're not going to see it blow around as much because the wind is going to settle down to about five miles per hour for tomorrow. Temperatures sitting at 20 right now in Grand Rapids. We have dropped to 12 in Hastings, still holding at 22 for Muskegon and Holland. Tomorrow we expect temperatures to be a touch warmer than today. So all of us should be able to make it up into the mid 20s for the most part. One of the only exceptions is uh, spots like Big Rapids and Ludington still trapped at 20, but 20 is an improvement from the single digits and the frigid below zero wind chills that we've been experiencing. This extensive time frame below freezing has aided our ice generation out on the Great Lakes. Lake Michigan is now up to 8%. Collectively, Great Lakes ice concentration sitting at 10%. And we are going to continue to watch the ice stack up, which is good for Lake Michigan. But once we get to next week, it's likely all going to fizzle again. So this might be the peak for the winter. Looking at Thursday, 3 a.m., so overnight to tomorrow, you can see the wave of snow pushing through and then it exits pretty quickly. So by the time we get to tomorrow afternoon, we see cloudy skies and dry conditions. Right on its heels, another wave of snow. This is Thursday into Friday. What's interesting about this second wave, Thursday into Friday, is the wind direction starts cranking down Lake Michigan. We have a really strong snow band that looks like it's going to form. This could unload some really rough conditions for northern Indiana, occasionally swinging into Berrien County. Time frame for this is going to be Thursday in through Saturday morning. So if you have any plans through the weekend, especially the first half of the weekend, heading to Chicago, uh, please watch out for that. It's going to be rough. Friday, 20 degrees. We actually could see the sun, which would be a nice change of pace. We saw it a bit today, but instead, like Friday, we might actually get like a span of sun. Saturday, Sunday, clouds start moving back in, and then you can see the warmth spreading in Tuesday and Wednesday. Sunshine has been a rarity this January. I feel like when it comes out now, everyone like stops with a hushed tone and like turns <laughs> towards the window. A little bit, yeah. yeah. It was nice to see this morning. It was great. All right, Ellen, thank you.